come pack with me for a Hawaii retreat. I leave for Hawaii on Wednesday where I'm supporting a women's feminine energy retreat. Um, my client Alexis, she's all Alexis on here, is hosting her first retreat on the big island of Hawaii and so excited to go. I will need four retreat support outfits, work outfits if you will, and then I am exploring the big island of Hawaii adventure style for another four days and Pumpkin's already decided she wants to help. Pumpkin, you can't go with me. Thank you. So these are all my outfit options. Come back with me. That, that is also not a spot for you on my black dress. So a lint roller will definitely need to be packed today. <laughs> all right, so first outfit is this cream two piece. Usually this would be like really good for an airport. It's my only piece I bought for this trip. I got it off Amazon, so I will link it below. Option number two is this romper. So I usually wear it with a sports bra. It's super soft, it's super comfortable. I'm not worried about any of my bips and bobs <laughs> falling out with it. And it has pockets and it's adjustable. This is from Zia and my friend Jessica sells. It is an M MLM. The fabric's super soft like Lululemon Align. 10 out of 10 recommend even though it is what it is. All right, so this is also gonna be a work outfit, but what I might do is I might wear it for an adventure outfit since it is kind of activewear as well. Option number three, this little sundress. It's gonna be in Hawaii, so it's gonna be warmer and it, again, has pockets. I feel like I can move in it and stuff like that. So I tried to stay towards black because I never know what's gonna get on my clothes supporting a retreat or any kind of event, really. This also looks really cute with a jean jacket, so that might be the jacket I bring. Last but not least is this flowy romper from Greece. It's lightweight, it's airy, it's breezy, it feels good. I got this in Mykonos and it just gives me the beach island vibes. Also, this is an outfit that I, I feel like I can move furniture in, I feel like I can be pretty in, all at the same time. Those are my four work outfits. Now it's time to pack for like dinners, pajamas, and a cute short outfit. So this dress is a flowy little sundress that I got in Tulum, Mexico when we were there in November. And I haven't been able to wear it yet because it's been winter in Ohio. But this makes me feel good, I feel feminine, and this is a feminine retreat. So I should dress like a feminine girl. And it's like got these like little shiny details. I don't know if you can see that or not. I just feel really pretty. So now we have five outfits. I definitely cannot support a retreat in this outfit. This is a dinner only outfit. It's just not supportive enough up here. <laughs> With retreat outfits, I need to make sure I can bend over, I can move furniture, I can set up meals, I can do dishes, I can run to the store, like those types of things. This is not one of those types of outfits. So this little outfit, <laughs> got the buttons open. There's a chance that we'll be having a slumber party with a movie night and popcorn and pizza. I say there's a chance because that's plan B if our plan A doesn't come through. So I think this could be super cute. Also like I'll be in a house full of girls and I could totally like wake up and like prepare breakfast and coffee in this and still feel really cute. I mean, it's nice to sleep in something cute, right? I normally sleep in like cheerleading shorts from seventh grade that are like 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and a t-shirt that has holes in it. Cute little shorts and a tank top is one of my more casual outfits that I'm gonna be taking for, not hiking really, but um, for maybe exploring, driving, you know, stuff like that. I have a two-piece hot pink from Old Navy. This, this outfit's from Old Navy. You know, I really like Old Navy because now that I'm a little chunkier, it just, it just, it, there's just more options for my size that I feel good in, you know? Airport wear. Now, I'm gonna be going from winter, like snowed yesterday, to 75, 80 degrees sunny. When wearing outfits to the airport, what I generally do is I pack in layers. So I'll always have like my Lulu's aligns with a t-shirt or with some sort of like cute top under it with a cardigan or a jacket like I usually take my jean jacket over here 
I also have a pink jacket, but I usually take a jacket like that because you never know. I It might be chilly at night. I might need a jacket. And then I also have a raincoat I'm taking that's super lightweight, really compactable because if it, I know it never rains there, but like if it's chilly, then it's easy to throw on if I'm going hiking because I don't want to hike in a jean jacket. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to pack for eight days for two very different vibes. I always try to pack like dressy-ish shoes. So these are espadrilles from Tom's. They're super comfortable. They have little grippy. They're a little bit nicer to wear with dresses if we're going out to dinner. All the other meals should be at the house. So I'm not really worried about that, but dinner is not. And then I usually have some sort of more casual shoe, like my Burt. I also usually pack my uh, Chacos, which I'm on the fence about. I know I'm gonna be snorkeling. I know I might, I probably will be on a boat at some point. And I also know that I'm gonna be hiking around the volcano park. So for that, I definitely have tennis shoes. I'm not packing my hiking boots. I just don't have the space for it or the attention span to wear that. I don't, I'm on the fence. So I might trade in these for my Chacos and then bring like $1 Old Navy flip-flops to just throw on around the villa just so I don't have to, like I'm not wearing, walking barefoot, you know? Mm, decisions. Some common questions I get asked is, do I use packing cubes? And the answer is no, I don't. I've used compression bags before, especially when I was backpacking Europe. And they, honestly, they just broke. So I got rid of them. <laughs> but I used them for, I don't know, nine years. It's not necessary to be able to go anywhere. Another question I get asked is if I'm traveling with the swag bag items that are nicer, like how do I keep them safe, dry, things like that. I don't have a, I don't have like a waterproof bag. I don't have rain gear for my luggage. So typically if it's a journal, which we're packing journals or any kind of paper product, I will wrap it in like a trash bag, which generally between the luggage and like the other things around it, um, keeps it pretty well safe. I've actually never had anything like damaged before. So we'll see on that, knock on wood. Now I do have air tags in all of my luggage because if I'm checking a bag, I wanna make sure I know exactly where it is. If it were to get lost or not make it to me, that I can help expedite the process. I also have travel insurance with through my credit cards and then I also usually buy travel insurance just so I'm protective. If my luggage is lost, I can go out and replace a couple of items before until my luggage can get there. If there are delays, I can be reimbursed. Now going to Hawaii, my like US health insurance should still work and I'm not worried about like any kind of medical expenses necessarily because we're still technically in the United States. All right, so the next things I pack are tech. So every time I go anywhere, I always have at least my laptop, my external hard drive, extra power cords for iPhone, laptop, things like that. I also pack my GoPro for the most part. Now, this is great for getting not only marketing footage for me of people having fun on the retreat, but also some footage for my clients. Now, this is the GoPro I'm filming on right now. It shoots in 4K, so like, why not? Um, I have underwater equipment for it. I have some lenses for it for outside, which I honestly haven't used. I also pack cell phone stands so we can get behind the scenes footage for social media. Again, this is all promotional material. That way my client can be talking and teaching. We can put her phone up. We can put my GoPro up. We can put her uh, vlogging camera up and we can get those behind the scenes B-roll footage. So it's easier to market the next one. Another thing I always bring is a wireless mic so we can film reels, TikToks and other videos on our phones with this. This is great for interviews on the spot. And honestly, they're, they're kind of like, they're cheap on Amazon, but they don't have to be like the production quality to get the job done. I don't pack any kind of light source because we should be in a villa that has a lot of open, open floor plan and large floor to ceiling windows. So natural light isn't a concern for me personally. And then with the GoPro, I can take it snorkeling with me. I can take it up to volcanoes and do vlogs. I can do so much with such a tiny device the entire time I am there. Now, when I'm supporting a retreat, I try to be like the end all be all and think of everything that someone may need while they're there. So typically when I go, I always pack some sort of tea. So what I learned from a retreat in Costa Rica is I went out and bought like five or six boxes of tea and like three packets were used. So I don't stress over tea anymore. What I do is I go to um, 
like I have a bag of like mixed tea variations. I bring the tea that I love, plus like a green tea and a black tea. That way, usually everyone's covered of the people who want tea. Honestly, it's gonna be so much cheaper than buying them in Hawaii because everything is more expensive in Hawaii. The next thing I always bring is tampons. So these are my homegirls at the Honeypot Company and I bring tampons and I bring pads, both Honeypot um, items that are all natural, all organic because usually when you get a bunch of girls in the same room, everyone kind of tends to sync up, especially when you're there for multiple days. I also pack common over-the-counter drugs like naproxen, ibuprofen, band-aids. I have a first aid kit here that has band-aids and bandages and gauze, Pepto-Bismol and things like that. Allergy tablets, so Benadryl in case someone has an allergic, allergic reaction until we can get them to the appropriate doctor. Um, and then something since COVID that's happened is I pack masks because I wear them on the planes. People are gross. And then I also pack a couple of rapid COVID tests. So I want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable, safe, and supported. So if someone's sick, we have these and hand sanitizer. We can test for this in case it is. That way everyone is informed. I will also tend to pack lotion like sunscreen, bug spray, and aloe. Again, most people are going to bring sunscreen, but they probably won't bring aloe and they usually don't bring bug spray. Now, anytime you go somewhere tropical, you're going to want it. So I always pack like the citronella um, all natural bug spray. And then I also pack the one with DEET that actually gets the job done because mosquitoes love me and my sister, we well up, like we have welts on us that are just so big because they just love us so much. So I use the DEET but I also have the organic natural version as well in case people don't want to put chemicals on them on their body. I provide that for my clients so my clients don't have to think about it. Like when I talk to them about it, I'm like, it is my job to think of everything in advance that could go wrong, that could be preventable and then be prepared to prevent it. Honestly, that's it. So just to recap, I cannot wait to go to Hawaii next week and I can't wait to see the transformations that these ladies go through.